My name is Michael Champagne. I am an organizer with AO Aboriginal Youth Opportunities. My name is uh, Keith McCaskill. I'm uh, the, the chief of police of the Winnipeg Police Service. I've been, uh, as a young Aboriginal person working with young Aboriginal people, have seen uh, many, many interactions with the Winnipeg Police Service and uh, young Aboriginal people and just the Aboriginal community at large. And I think that in general, it is a relationship that needs a lot of healing. It, it, it is a, a relationship where um, there's some communication challenges, I think, on both sides that need to be addressed in order for things to move forward in a good way. Uh, officers quite often, they'll see, they'll, they'll tend calls uh, when things are at their worst, there, there's a crime being committed, or people are at their worst in any segment of society. It doesn't matter because that's what you called for, right? And it's, it's a crisis and quite often. Uh, but you know what? The majority of people right across this, this world. They'll have a crisis situation there, you talk to them the next, next day, and it's not that crisis situation, and uh, they're, they're really good people. People get tied up in things. If they commit a crime, we'll hold them accountable. It doesn't mean to say that they're necessarily a bad person, you know? And so we have to work on all of that to make sure that our officers realize, and I think the majority, large majority of them do, is that we have to build the, the relationships and understand that people are people no matter where they are. They should know that their image currently is tainted <laughs> and they have to take those steps like invitations, inviting us to go to their stuff, coming out to our stuff. They have to attend and show that FaceTime to build a relationship because if we only ever see you when you're arresting people or laying down the law, that's not going to be a good way to build any kind of a healthy relationship. What we've been doing is uh, over the last number of years uh, is trying to um, bridge that gap using examples of uh, Indian Métis Friendship Centre, which I think is a great organization in, in the North End. The relationship there with the Winnipeg Police Service is very strong, and we partner with a lot of things uh, uh, to, to try to bridge that gap. I think that if the police service begins to be a little bit more human in the way that they interact immediately, they would have less challenges, specifically with uh, Aboriginal youth. The police department and each member is only a segment of society because you put a uniform on it doesn't mean to say they're, they're different than the rest of society. The difference is they have authority that other people don't have. And so we have to uh, share that we're all people and we're going to make mistakes but, but we have to be held to a higher standard. I think we have to start looking at um, understanding why the police are there. They are there to enforce laws and you know to uh, be that disciplinarian for society. Um, and we just kind of have to remember that that's what their role is and, and try to just check ourselves when we're uh, getting upset over the police. And it's, it's trying to get people to understand that what police officers are people. Uh, Aboriginal uh, people in the community are very important. Other people in the community are very important, but we have to work not only to understand one another, we have to accept culture and we have to embrace it as much as we can as an organization to be able to show that we all can live in this, this uh, city and make it better and better together and work together. And that's what it's all about. I think that if we had more opportunities where the police could stand in solidarity with community-led grassroots initiatives, that would be a really great start. And in terms of turning points, um, I don't know if I felt like there's been a turning point yet. I'm still waiting.